never seen that one before. Oh! <laughs> I feel like that one is super, super, super rare. <laughs> Hello, it's here to you, and welcome back to Let's Play Pikmin 2. Now, let's continue on to the Dream Den, and hope that nothing else super evil shows up. I already know the answer to this, but, you know, knock on wood. This is a metal armrest. I don't know what knocking on metal does to your luck. Anyway, let's move onwards. Sub level 10 is certainly a thing. The entire dungeon is certainly a thing, but well, we've already seen plenty of examples of that. Okay, we got some Wally Hops in this area. We also got this guy who's fun. Okay, let's, get the, let's let the Wally Hop get out of the way. I'm gonna tr basically, I'm gonna try to lure this uh, demon fish guy away from us. Take care of these guys one at a time. Okay, that worked out beautifully. That worked out very beautifully. And now we're gonna destroy the rest of you like this. Alright, that worked out really well. <laughs> that worked out beautifully. Alright, alright, I, I have some skills. I've got some skills. I've got skills that I'm not applying, and I'm losing control. It's in my ways, rushing. It's electrifying. Better step up, cause I am gonna. <laughs> I shouldn't ruin songs more often than I usually do. Okay, uh, which one is the one that is not, you're not the one we need to deal with? The other jelly floats. Ah, uh, you're next to a wally hop. Okay, the jelly floor right here. Uh, this is the jerk that we're gonna have to deal with. Not gonna be fun at all. Not going to be fun at all. There's a stupid fly in my room. How are there still flies in this? Mm. Okay. I'm not too worried about how often we're using ultra bitter sprays on this floor. A part of me told me not to do it too much because uh, there is a mindset that somebody might be watching who hasn't collected the ultra bitter sprays. But honestly, you still have plenty of time to leave the dungeon, like, just go through the floors, uh, take the treasures that you've got, and things like that, and come back and do another run with more ultra bitter sprays and things like that. So it should, in theory, be okay. Now, these jelly floats, I need to amend something I've said previously. So, every Pikmin website that I've used to plan out these Let's Plays, they all say jelly floats are harmless. I have evidence now that that's not the case. If the Pikmin stays captured by the Jelly Float for too long, it just disappears. And I will show you this evidence right now. Pikmin, people who edit the Pikmin wikis, take note. What? Pikmin wikis, take note! These guys do kill Pikmin! Every source I've ever used for a Pikmin video say these guys are harmless! They do kill your Pikmin after a while! Uh-huh! Well, that was a fun thing to discover! And now we have no blue Pikmin at all! Uh-huh! Don't mind me, just gonna reset the floor again!
I gotta ask, how are they still on fire when they're underwater and things like that? Okay, this is risky. This is risky. We might end up losing too many Pikmin and not being able to carry the treasure back. I am very glad that we did that when we did. Because <laughs> we almost didn't have enough Pikmin to... Would you... There's 16 Pikmin here. Would you all carry the treasure? Oh my god. Pick up the treasure. There we go. Why was that so difficult for you? <sighs> okay. I'm not happy that we're under 90 Pikmin now. But... I think this is the last thing we absolutely need blue Pikmin for. So, in theory, we should be okay. In theory, we should be okay. You look historically important. Talisman of life. Wait. Okay. I got a little worried because I thought... Eh, never mind. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're getting close to the end. We are getting close to the end. It's all fine. It's all fine. We can do it. Chapter 11. This looks very different than it did a moment ago. I, okay, I did a floor reset um, because it wasn't going very well. Um, but uh, I haven't seen it this drastic, daily different in a while. Okay, I want to be very careful with this. This is not a good combination. Okay, they haven't noticed. They haven't noticed. They've not noticed. They've not noticed. They've not. Okay, that's good. That is very, very good. That is very, 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 very good. How many are on this floor? Looks like there's two treasures on this floor. Hey, okay, let's go like that. Swarming these guys is not the best strategy in the world. But it worked out. Okay, uh, we lost the yellow. I'm not happy about that. I'm not happy about that. Okay. You guys will work on taking out this watery blowhog. And our yellows are going to carry the treasure. Okay, so there are two treasures on this floor. So we got the first one now. So let's figure out what we want to do for the other ones. I'm a bit worried about that poison gate being next to the spiky needle nose jerk. So that's a little that's something a little bit problematic. Hot mustard. Yellow taste tyrant. Seeing that, seeing that lid makes me really want a hot dog. <laughs> I'm not super fond of hot dogs. Like I'll, I'll, I'll eat a hot dog every once in a while, but it's not like a burger thing where I can, I can eat a burger literally every day and I will never get sick of it. <laughs> Probably not the healthiest diet in the world, but it's fine. How many yellow pigment do we have? We have 21. Okay. I, I'm particularly nervous about our yellow pigment population because we are going to need them for something I want to show off in the last floor and things like that. Um, so hopefully things will work out in the end. Okay, we're going to use that. And then the rest of us are going to take care of you. Yeah, that is a strategy. That was a brilliant strategy if I do say so myself. Uh, those guys are getting a little too close for comfort. Alright, we got you. Multitasking murder. Multitasking murder. Yeah! Okay, let's be careful with the- ah, Don't do that. Do not do that. Do not do that! Get away! <sighs> okay. Remember I said a couple of videos back where I wish there was like a command wheel or something like that that would make it so that we could like 
when they're when we're swarming with Pikmin and things like that, we could uh, give a bit more direct control over how they're going to be reacting when we're swarming or dismissing and things like that. Yeah, I definitely want that because that would be like super duper helpful in situations like that where I'm trying to swarm Pikmin away from danger, but then they go pick stuff up and then they go back into danger. <laughs> That's never a pleasant thing. But now let's go over here. Things are things are looking up in the world of Gator. <laughs> Boston. So when the first time I saw this, like okay, I'll have a I don't have the proper translation for what this uh for what this treasure is actually supposed to be on the corner or something like that. But I remember the first time that I saw that, I thought it was something in Japan where you know how some places when you clock in for work and things like that, you take a piece of paper, you press it down into a machine, and then you like that's how you clock into work and things like that. I thought that was like the Japanese equivalent of that. <laughs> when I was like kid and things like that. Uh, so that was a... Ah! Someone's playing Super Mario Odyssey! Ah, uh, I love Super Mario Odyssey. I love how that Let's Play turned out. Oh, this is a great sign. Okay, let's take care of the Wally Hops first. We'll take care of the Wally Hops first, and then we'll see from there. Oh, okay then. <laughs> the Pikmin suddenly spawned. Sub level 12. <laughs> Alright. So, starting off, we're going to waste a potion. Starting off, we're going to sneak attack you and just go like this. And get a treasure immediately. That's pretty nice. That's pretty snazzy indeed. Okay, I believe there are two treasures on this floor, so that's going to be pretty epic and awesome. I want to go take care of that the whistle guy. I'm, I can't remember Pikmin enemy names. I'm sorry. I'm a terrible Let's Player. Baking Powder. I'm going to zoom in on this one, this real quick. Queen's Quality established 1932. Double acting. All right. Gluten free. <laughs> I love that. I love that they made the effort to sit point out that it's gluten free. That's a good detail. Perfect baking. What are the nutrition facts on this? Calories 55. European leading brand, chocolate muffin. <laughs> I, I love the details on this. All right, so now the first thing we were doing is we would be taking care of these poison gates, and while we do that, I went to a, a bit of a random story. But um, this friend texted me today um, with a funny, with a funny part of the story. So I figured, you know what? Why not share the story in the video? So uh, this friend of mine. She was like the epitome of a Disney princess, so she had just had like that, that super fun attitude and things like that. Um, but she also like had that fun like little sister energy. And whenever we were at work and things like that, I usually always tell dumb dad jokes every now and then. But especially with this friend around. Uh, there's one point in time where uh, she and I were in the clocking in area with uh, another friend and things like that. I was asking the one friend how he was doing, and he was like, oh, I'm tired. So I was like, hi, tired, I'm Joey. And then my friend, she was all like, okay, dad, thank you very much, dad. So after that point, I was like, all right, I'm gonna say the most cringy dad jokes in the world around this girl. And she always had the funniest responses, and I sent, like, she hasn't worked at Disney for a while. Uh, her college program ended, uh, like, not too long ago. Um, but 
Yeah, like... I'm very happy we only lost one victim with that. That could have gone very, very bad. I know that for a fact, because uh, we had a failed attempt where it didn't go very, very bad. But yeah, so I usually like um, texture, super cringy dad jokes and things like that. And she always has very really funny responses. Alright, before picking on your weakness. And ew, you're very twitchy when you die. Is it behind gate number one? If it is, then that's gonna be a fun story for us because we only have six white Pikmin. Okay, we're... Oh, okay. I saw the shadow on the ground and I got very nervous that there was like some kind of explosive thing. That could have gone very, very bad. I'm glad that it didn't though. I'm also glad I didn't bother going in this area because there's a whole bunch of scary things over there I don't want to deal with and it looks like we don't have to deal with that at all. So that's convenient for us. Ew, it's a Twizzer. I like the Twizzers. Am I over that way? We're gonna go over here. That way! That way! Cheat that way! Universal Calm. Another funny story about this friend was that there's one time where um, I gave her her bump out to leave work and things like that. It was, and it was around the holiday season. So as she was leaving, I was like, bye, buddy. Hope you find her dead. And then without skipping a beat, she's like, thanks, Mr. Narwhal. Time for the penultimate peril. There's no happy endings, not here and not now. This tale's full of sorrows and woes. We think that justice and peace win the day, but that's not how the story goes. Alright, we got you taken care of. And we're just gonna let the other Bulborb sleep. We're just gonna let them sleep for now. They seem to be, they seem to be having a nice little snooze. Uh, they seem to be okay. Like they're just napping away, having probably dreaming about Agna again, Tokyo Mirage Assassins. You know, normal Bulborb dreams. Hypnotic Plateau. You want to play Tokyo Mirage Sessions? The next floor is the end. We've come a long way, but we're finally towards the end of the game. Thank you so much for watching the video, Pikmin 2, and next time, Lead Gator to you. Oh yeah.